Hey, thanks for joining me for another video. This is Chris from Data Rescue Labs. Today we have a USB flash drive that is not showing up at all. It's actually showing like, um, I think 30 something megabytes, which is incorrect. This is a much bigger USB drive. So uh, we're gonna recover it using flash extractor today. The difference between flash extractor and uh, VNR, it's uh, flash extractor is a lot simpler to use uh, if the solution for the particular drive is there. Um, if there is no solution, then it's complicated as well. But if there's a solution, uh, we can do it using a um, flash extractor. So I got it mounted in, in this holder here. Let me get a microscope view here. So I got it mounted here. I already put uh, some uh, 138 degrees um, paste. Uh, this paste will... Um, melt the solder pretty quickly. So we're gonna lift it using our soldering iron. So let's get to it and start lifting. So the key here is to kind of heat up the entire side And that will give us um, enough heat to kind of uh, get under here. And there's the one side. Now we're just going to do the other side here, use more paste. Okay, let's come in here. We got the first chip off. We can clean it. Uh, one of the legs got bent, but it's not a big deal. We can clean it after. Now this side, give me a wick here. Do something small again. Okay, now we're gonna fix this one pen. There, this pin's fixed. Okay, chip number one is done. And then put that aside. And let's get to another one. Same idea. Flux. Flux. And a little bit of paste. And the other side too. Okay, 
Okay, let's get in there. Okay, that's chips removed. And now we're going to clean them. Okay, as you can see here, these are the two chips. This is chip one, this is chip two. Uh, we're gonna clean them now with some alcohol. Uh, in flash extractor, it's very important to actually mark the chips so you know which one's which. And VNR is not so important. VNR doesn't care whether it's uh, chip one or chip two. Flash extractor does kill. So we're just gonna clean these chips up here. So the marking on one of the chips is rubbing off, so we're gonna mark it again. One, two, and the last thing here, we're gonna get. Um, Some BS iPhone. Now we're just gonna clean these contacts up. Yeah, I gotta make sure it's all clean. Clean this side now. And the other chip. Just gotta make sure they're super clean so we can get a good read. We're gonna do one more alcohol clean over here on this side. This side. Okay, this chip's done. Let's get this chip in here too. Okay, that's it for the chips. Uh, we're gonna now move them over to, um, now we're gonna put them in the reader and um, start recovering.
we gotta get this uh, reader configured for the SOP chips. This is the only thing I don't like about fast extractor is these adapters. I don't hate putting in these screws and removing them. I think there could be, could have been a better method of attaching these adapters. I'm gonna I'm planning on uh, coming up with a better solution here. I'm not sure if it's gonna be something with a release anywhere, but um, definitely it's gonna be something an internal solution for for these screws. I'm sure you'll see it in uh, future videos. Okay, we're almost done here. So, we're gonna leave chip number two here. We're gonna come back to it after. And we're gonna put this one in. here it's make sure all the pins are touching okay let's go over to the computer now so here we are plugged in to the reader and now we're gonna see if we can get an ID on this okay so we are here at my computer um, the dry, the uh, flash extractor is connected. Um, let's see if we get an ID on here. So we get an ID. I'm just gonna put it into um, into a folder. I'm gonna click here. There's the chip. Check for ID. Okay, now we can just start reading. Now this takes time. So obviously there's no point filming the entire process uh, of the reading procedure itself. We're going to come back to it when it's done reading uh, both chips. So when the first chip is done reading, then I'm going to click on uh, chip number two here. Just uh, so there's number two here. Then we're going to read the second chip. When that's all done, then we're going to come back here and we're going to continue building this, uh, this flash drive to recover it. Okay, so here we are in the computer again. The dumps are finished. I actually finished the case already, but... Uh, let me go over it one more time. So to find this controller, um, you just have to go in here. That's an SM3253. Uh, I remember looking through all these, and I think this one, this is the one that matches um, uh, my USB drive. Uh, so this is the configuration, and it's quite simple from this point on. Open the dump. SM. Three, two, five, three. It was this one. Click here. Open the image. And here's the file structure. You can see the file structure here is actually working, but unfortunately there's a lot of errors still on the on the chips, as it is with most chips uh, when they're pulled off. So um, after all this was done, uh, I put it through um, through VNR. So to give it a second to load here. So I've used VNR to um, do some error correction, but um, the job is done. Data has been recovered. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like it, share, and subscribe. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video.